Hi, I'm here with Tim Feldman, and we just did a yoga, uh, Ashtanga yoga workshop with Kina McGregor and Tim Feldman, and they are from the Miami Life Center. I want to ask Tim a question. I just want to ask you why you feel so passionate about yoga, and specifically the Ashtanga practice. Um, well, I had a big accident in 1992 and broke a lot of bones. <clears throat> I used to be a dancer, I was a dancer at that time. And it took me a long time to get back on my legs. Um, the doctors say I would never get there. And in the process of doing that, in the process of rehabilitation, I found yoga and um, loved it from the beginning. But it took me like another five years before I started to focus completely on that. And then slowly, slowly, it kind of took over my passion, so my passion changed from the arts and dance and into yoga. So that's what I'm, that's what I do now, and that's how I came in here. That's amazing. Thank you so much, You're and welcome. you are an amazing teacher. Thank so you very much. hi, Kino. Hi. So I want to ask you um, why you chose to practice with Patabi Joyce and how amazing it was, and mm. tell us the experience. I think that for me, the decision to go to Mysore and make that journey really very much came from a yearning inside of myself to find a true and lasting peace in my life. When I first started practicing Ashtanga Yoga, at first I didn't really know where the tradition came from, but when um, very shortly after I started practicing, I read Guruji's book called Yoga Mala, I was very much drawn to meet him in person. And there were many people that were making the journey over to Mysore, so it made it seem accessible. So I decided, after finishing Guruji's book, after having a dream about him, that I would actually go and meet him and practice with him. When I actually got to India and I met him, it was far beyond anything that my rational mind could really understand, and my heart opened to him and to the practice. And although you know Guruji was not you know a technical teacher, we always look for the answers to the perfect asana. And for me, the the yoga practice, although being based in asana, particularly with Ashtanga Yoga, was always a spiritual path towards the discovery of you know, real and lasting peace. And Guruji's presence for me from the very beginning really grounded, really grounded me, and it really steered the course of my life towards yoga as a spiritual practice, yoga as a spiritual path. So how old were you when you went out there? Um, I was 22 years old when I started Ashtanga Yoga, and I journeyed to Mysore after I'd been practicing for eight months. Wow. So yeah. would you say that yoga has completely changed your life in the way you live yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can look back now and see how much peace and how much more um, openness there is, both in my heart and in my relationship to the world, to such a degree so that I didn't even know it was possible to experience life in the way that I live it now. And I never thought, you know, now I'm going to change my life and only be a yoga teacher. It's really something that actually happened through me as a result of the transformations that I'd experienced. It wasn't something that, you know, I chose as a career path. It was something that really started to happen because of how dramatically everything else in my life changed. So yeah. you basically feel like it's your passion. Absolutely. Your I mean, for me, one of the, the thing that keeps me inspired every day is the idea that more people can do this practice, you know, that, that you know, the more people that practice, the more peaceful planet that we have. And the idea that in some fashion, I may continue my teacher's work by sharing and spreading the light of Ashtanga Yoga with more people, with new people, um, you know, with new students who are practicing. That's the thing that keeps me inspired every day. That's the thing that in, you know, in if I can humbly continue the lineage of Ashtanga Yoga by inspiring more people to practice and hopefully making the world a better place, you know, one student at a time, one, you know, one practice, one movement, one breath at a time. That for me keeps me inspired every day. Thank you so much. Thank you.